So the next thing I want to show you is keyboard shortcuts for effects and effects chains. Now, besides adding effects, by clicking over here, we could also open up our effects browser. Shift F, then type in any effect in the filter we want to find, like an EQ. Then we can grab any of these effects and drag and drop it right on to a track. And that adds that effect to that track. But also in here, we can add keyboard shortcuts to it without having to open up the effects browser at all. So if we wanted to add this EQ to any tracks we choose, right click and choose Create Shortcut. Add a keyboard shortcut in here. And now, anytime we want to add that EQ to a track, just select it, hit the keyboard shortcut, and it adds that effect to that track. And it's also useful for multiple tracks. If you want to add it in all three, just select them all, hit that keyboard shortcut, and it adds an EQ to each one of these tracks. And we could do this with any effect we want. Anything that shows up in this window, like a compressor, just right click and create a shortcut for that. This will also work with effects chains. Over here, I've created an effects chain for an EQ compressor and another EQ, one with the settings I like for that chain. But instead of adding it from the effects browser, we can just right click it, go to create shortcut, type in a keyboard shortcut, and now we could add that effects chain to any track we select. Again, it could be just one. It adds that effects chain with all the effects in that chain along with their settings. And again, this will also work with multiple tracks. So we could select all these tracks, hit the keyboard shortcut, and it adds that effects chain to each one of these tracks. Definitely a lot quicker than adding it from the browser each time.